for the second assignment uh, to create a dashboard in Tableau using the data uh, provided. Uh, uh, the data is uh, specifying the crimes within a couple of years in the Seattle. So the approach that I did was um, after checking uh, the website with the data and finding out what the data is about, I found out that there is a associated spatial file which provides a location uh, for the given crime. So in Tableau, I imported a spatial file first and uh, to that one, I added a crime file which uh, gives us details about the crimes committed. Uh, and uh, I did a right join with the crime data because uh, I think that even if uh, there is no uh, location, then still these records should be reported on a specific uh, items within the dashboard. And here is the output. As you can see, all the items are in there. On the top, you can see the unmatched uh, items. For the crime sub subcategory, which was present in the data itself, I created an additional uh, crime group where I differentiated the, the crimes to a property crimes and uh, person crimes. Additionally, I extracted an uh, occurred hour, which uh, is uh, giving us just the hour when it occurred, because I will later on need it for the one of the items in the dashboard. Since this data can be represented in um, various ways and the different items can be extracted. I just decided to pick one item and that is uh, where to focus on the on the crime in different ways, in different categories. As you can see from left to right, uh, the first one is displaying the map. I will go to the details on what I did in later on. So the police can actually decide where they should strengthen their forces. The second item is uh, giving us the which of the crimes occur the most, so they know which uh, departments they should maybe strengthen. And the last one is uh, showing us within which hour uh, the crimes were committed. And you can see, especially in these spikes, probably during these times, they should uh, strengthen their forces. So let's go to the details uh, for the map. Uh, I used um, geometry and uh, you can see the differentiation of the different districts and uh, beats. The tooltip is shown for each of those items and so forth. For the crime types, as I mentioned, I uh, created two groups, property and person crimes, and then basically created a number of records as a, as a total from the data set that we have. And the uh, last chart is showing us the time per hour. And when we go to the dashboard, we have on top a couple of filters which uh, will allow us to pick a selected item or selected year and then uh, within that those we can actually see how the entire dashboard will change. So let's pick for example a couple of years. As you can see the middle table will always display three years, even if I select multiple, and it will always display the most recent one, plus two, which are following uh, from the selection that you selected. You can see that the old years do not have so many records, and then therefore I will pick a couple of more recent ones. And now you can nicely see how the entire item is changing. 
Uh, it also allows us to actually pick up the items from the from here. And you can see that both uh, items which are related are modified according to the selection. You are allowed to pick also the precincts. And again, the filtering works well. In the right bottom, there is a legend associated with the course for the chart, which is on the right side. We can select as well multiple items by holding control. And the entire dashboard is quite interactive.